For the next one, once again, my first step is going to be classification. Um, once I classify, I can then compare relatively speaking, because we have network at the highest point, then ionic, polar with hydrogen, polar, and nonpolar. F2O is molecular polar. CH4 is molecular nonpolar. Of these two, molecular polar will be higher. For B, I have two ionics. When I'm comparing two ionics to each other, the first thing I look at <clears throat> is the charge of the ions. We're dealing with Coulomb's force here. Plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. So that's not gonna explain why one is held more strongly together than the other one. So the next thing I look at is the size of the ion. Potassium, or size of the ions. Potassium is obviously the same size as potassium. So the difference is gonna be in the anion here. Chlorine is a bit smaller than iodine. Iodine has five shells of electrons where chlorine only has three shells of electrons. So ions, so iodine is gonna be a bit bigger. As a result, these two atoms, K and I, are farther apart than K and Cl. K and Cl are closer when we have a smaller ion and it's closer together, it's going to give us a stronger ionic force. Therefore, KCl will be my answer. For C, once again, I have two ionics. The first thing I'm going to look at is the charge. Plus one, minus one, plus two, minus two. Plus two and minus two is going to be more strongly attracted to each other than a plus one and minus one are. Since charge lends me an explanation, I don't even look at the size of the ions. For D, SiO2 is network, NaCl is ionic, network automatically wins. For E, calcium oxide is ionic, O2 is nonpolar, ionics are above nonpolars, calcium oxide wins. <clears throat> 